Hello Hoots! Wise eyes! A pointy beak! <laughs> Feathered wings! Woo. Claws on feet! Feet! <laughs> Perched proudly in the tree! Owl hoots! Hello to me! Can you hoot like an owl? Flap your owl wings. Flap, 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 flap. Where's your owl beak? Where's your beak? <laughs> Stepping stones. Stepping stones. So Michael and I live really far away from the ocean and we wanted to bring a little bit of the beach to us. So today we're gonna be making seaside stepping stones. First, you take a big ball of air dry clay. And since we don't have a rolling pin, we're just using a glass vase to roll it out. All right. Now we're gonna put an imprint of Michael's hand. <laughs> now let's see. You have a hand! Hey, Simon. <laughs> and now we're gonna decorate it with seashells. That one right there. Do you want me to write, write an M for Michael? And now all we have to do is let it dry in a sunny window for about 24 hours and then we can put it in our garden. Spring garden. All around the garden bed. Digging down below. Squiggly, wiggly, squirmy worms help the flowers grow. All around the garden bed, sprouting toward the light. Cheery little flower buds make the springtime bright. Do we have squiggly wiggly worms? Yeah. Where's our worms? Mm, they're hiding. They're hiding? Where do worms like to hide? Over there in the garden. Yeah, that's a good place for worms. They're over there in the water hole. <laughs> the worms are in the water hose? Yeah. Oh. Can I pick a flower? You can. Was no it? Recently, my family and I decided to move to a brand new house in a brand new neighborhood. So what's your favorite thing about the new house? I like my garden. It's a big pile of dirt. Thankfully, because the new house was so close to our old house, I was able to bring Michael over here a bunch of different times so that we could explore our new neighborhood and make a few new friends. Were you sad to leave our neighbors? Yeah. Yeah? But are you excited to meet new neighbors? Yeah! And, and do you remember when you got to play soccer with your friends? Your new friends? Yeah! So even though moving to a brand new neighborhood and having to meet all new people can be a little scary, we are having a whole lot of fun. I love our new house. I love our new house. I love our new house. Where's Jasper? Meow. Maria could hear Jasper, her orange kitten, but she couldn't see him. Maria looked behind the marigolds in the planter. He wasn't there. Maria worried. Jasper had cried every night since leaving the other kittens and coming home with her. Maria knew he was lonely. Where could he be? Meow. Jasper's cry was getting louder. Maria ran to Buster's doghouse. When she peeked around the side of the doghouse, Maria heard Buster's tail going thump, thump, thump. And next to Buster was Jasper, who was happily batting at Buster's tail. Maria giggled. Jasper had found a new friend. Is that just like when Simon goes outside to play? And sometimes we have to go and we have to find her and say, come here, Simon. Come here, Simon. There she is. Come here, Kingston. <laughs> Our new house has a whole bunch of really big trees and there's one really big pecan tree right in the middle of our backyard. So today we decided we want to make a bird cafe so that we can feed all the birds and their babies. And mommy too. And the mommies too. 
The first thing you need for your bird cafe is a shallow dish that you store food or anything in. If you don't have something like this with a lid, you could also use a water bottle and cut the bottom part of it off for the dish and the top part off for the top of the cafe. We're using kid safe scissors for this part. So the next thing we're gonna do is take our shallow dish and tape this to the dish. Perfect. Now it's a window. Now it's a window. See, and that's where the birds can come and eat. I want stamps. You want stamps? Yeah, I want that one. Let's do it, here you go baby. And now all we have to do is fill it with bird seed and hang it in the tree outside. Bird dog, I love it. This one? This one? <laughs> bears, Bears Everywhere by Heidi B. Romer. Art by Rico Seicherl. Giant bears, tiny bears, bears in every size. Scruffy bears, fluffy bears, bears with button eyes. Bears in boots and bathing suits, but just one bear is right. A bear to hug, a bear to love, my bear to kiss, good night. Can you find the hidden bees that are in this picture? <laughs> yeah, there's a bee. Let's count the bees. Let's count the bees, let's do that. You count. You count. Okay, I'll count with you. You ready? Count with me. I will. Here we go. One. One. Two. two three. Hey kids, find more great videos on Highlights High Five, the channel just for you.